Hey guys, uh, Jeff here, just giving you a lowdown on some awesome eclipse viewing paraphernalia that will make your upcoming, that uh, total eclipse that's going to hit us on April 8th, it's going to make it a lot more enjoyable for you. And I'm going to teach you some of the stuff that I've learned about digiscoping that'll make it not only, uh, I guess, it'll make it a lot more fun. So first and foremost, uh, get yourself at minimum a good pair of glasses. This set that you can pick up right now on Amazon uh, comes with this cool guy, which is a um, this is a filter that goes over your phone, and it's not specific to iPhone, but it certainly kind of caters to it based on that size of the reflective material. You simply tape this to the front, and now that protects your lenses so that you're able to shoot uh, video and that of the of the eclipse. Now, if you're going to do time lapsing with it, let me get this guy out of the way. If you're going to do time-lapse video, um, you're going to need to have a tripod. And this guy does an amazing job. It's super solid. I mean, super solid once you lock the legs in. And you can get it to any height that you need. I like this little small rig pan tilt head. I replaced the ball head that came with this one with that. And what it allows you to do is 360 degree rotation and then tilting. And since the eclipse is happening right around noon, you're going to need to be able to tilt that thing pretty much all the way back and pointing straight up. Uh, but this guy here that's holding the iPhone on, this is a cool all metal solid piece that allows your phone to swivel in any direction and uh, tilt forward and backwards based on that so it gives you the option and, and last time uh, I did an eclipse I set my phone on a tripod and I did a time lapse and uh, that was such a cool thing of course there's pro photographers out there they're gonna catch and capture way better images than you can on this but this is your phone or it's, it's my phone and having my phone capture it seemed to be a lot more rewarding than watching some pro uh, do it and so this was kind of a cool setup in order to be able to do that you need a good quality uh, tripod a good quality tripod uh, a way to hold your phone steady and a way to protect your lens from that so all of that here is tagged in the description of this video down below so make sure you check out that link you can find all of those things there um, moving on to other things I like to have a little better glass than just these standard paper ones I have a variety here a uh, little larger frame ones. Uh, these are going to go on and the great thing is they're not coming off. Unlike these uh, these that will get the job done, uh, you know, these little paper ears aren't always very comfortable and they don't always stay in place. Plus your viewing is really down to that one inch by about an inch and a half. And yes, it does do the job and yes, you can see and if that's all you had, it would work and trust me, if that's all you had, you'd be glad you had them. But you have time, so go ahead and pick up a little nicer pair of premium style glasses. Um, these, uh, of course, even if you can't, uh, you know, you see them, people will see you from a long ways away wearing some of the neon style uh, glasses as well. But those are available on Amazon. You can pick any of those up uh, to uh, get the job done. Now, to go to more or less like your digiscoping, I've always used, and this is one of my favorite products, this is a phone scope, and phone scope sells a couple of different options. I opted for this, which is a, uh, a phone specific case. So it's made for this phone, and then also a piece, this piece, which is customizable to the actual uh, optic that you're gonna put it on. And so, in this case, I'm gonna show it on my my set of binos back here and I'll show you those Kyababs. These are the Vortex Kyababs. Uh, my mind, Vortex has the best glass on the market. The Kyababs is that uh, price range where I felt comfortable spending um, and I got an extremely good pair of glasses for it. But the digiscoping basically takes my phone and you can see that puts the uh, hole right over the camera that's going to be centered then over the lens of my bino. And so now I'm able to take uh, whatever I can see out of this end, I'm, I'm going to get that on uh, I'm going to get that on my uh, camera here. Now the important thing to note is, is that I have already rigged this up and this is the do-it-yourself kind of digiscoping eclipse safe way to go. Um, I have uh, 
already made these up. And what I did was I took an extra pair. So these are the protective covers that go over my lenses. Uh, when I'm not using them and I'm carrying them around in the field, that's what goes on to protect my uh, binos from dust and debris, uh, rain and other things on there. And what I did was I cut out this very center, okay? I cut out the center and I replaced it with this reflective material. And I have some of that over here. And those are, this too is something you can find in the comments down there below. You'll be able to see I bought this big sheet and uh, I've cut out a couple of pieces. Now I have some more work to do because I have some other optics that I'm going to actually digiscope with and also my camera. So the very camera I'm using to shoot this, we're going to go ahead and create a couple of more filters that will allow us to then look directly at the sun without damaging our eyes, most importantly, and our equipment, secondly, that will keep the, both of those protected. So with that, I was able to put these, uh, you know, now over the front of my, my binos, and now I have literally a pair of binos that I can look at the sun during the eclipse. This is this uh, tripod here. Let's get that on. Uh, because of the tripod, and getting that mounted here, I can get that almost to any angle that I need and uh, safely pull that towards my eyes and then look at the sun that way um, and have it protected. And then that paired with my digiscoping phone scope setup, I can uh, look at it, I can actually look at it through one eye, record it through the other. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds. I think a lot of times Especially if you're into photography, you wind up behind the lens so much that you forget what's going on around you. And so uh, I love the fact that I can literally look at the binos and then have the image being recorded either in a time-lapse kind of environment or whatnot. But I'm, I'm excited to put this through the paces come April 8th for that eclipse. Um, and lastly, I think uh, one of the things I want to show you is over here. Um, and this is the King Camp uh, hammock style chair. Now... In my mind, since it's especially it's going to happen at high noon, there's nothing worse than sitting there all day long, you know, for about the hour or so leading up to just staring at it. And this just literally gives you the ability to where at zero effort, zero energy, I'm literally laying down and I'm looking straight at 12 o'clock. So that, that is uh, the perfect setup. It does have some uh, straps here. So if you want to sit up more, it's super easy to adjust that. And now I can more or less just sit at a normal level here and then recline by simply uh, re relaxing those and letting them come back. So anyway, a great chair, especially for eclipse viewing. I can't think of a better way to do it than in a hammock. And that's the feel that you get out of it. It uh, packs up just like most of your camp style chairs, a super nice strap and carrying case uh, for that. So. Um, Anyway, these are some things that I think would be helpful for you to have around and uh, make your Eclipse viewing experience a lot safer and, uh, you know, and, and more enjoyable and you're going to be able to get the images that you want. You know, having, again, the Digiscope is such a cool concept. It's, it's really, you know, really what this is. The iPhones anymore have such good lenses. The problem is with an iPhone, you're just not going to reach out and get that. E even when you take a landscape picture, it literally feels like you're a thousand miles away because of the way that the wide angle nature of little iPhone lenses are. So this literally takes the, the magic of a good quality iPhone camera with a ginormous telephoto lens. I mean, really, that's what it is. It's, it's a, 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 a huge uh, telephoto lens that's now on the end of your camera. Um, and you can get some great images of wildlife uh, and otherwise, uh, but in this case, we're specifically setting up to do, do that with, the, um, uh, with the, the eclipse coming up. So, uh, guys, if you like this content, please do uh, the right thing, and that is to hit the subscribe button down below. And that way you'll stay in tune with everything that I have coming out on the lowdown. 
Um, I will be doing other things leading up to the eclipse that will help make your viewing experience even that much more enjoyable and other videos of the kind. So things that are near and dear to me that I feel like I can uh, share some of the knowledge that I've gained in doing it. So anyway, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time on The Lowdown.